Welcome everyone to Delaware Valley University, also known as DelVal. This unique private university is home to about 2,000 students who come here for the small class sizes, personal attention from faculty, hands-on experience, and because they want to be part of a close-knit community. DelVal is located in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, just north of Philadelphia and about 90 minutes from New York City. Talk about a prime location. I'm your host, Alex Boylan, and over the next half hour, you're gonna meet real students who are pursuing their unique dreams in a very hands-on way on a absolutely beautiful thousand acre campus. In this episode, you're gonna meet a future cattle rancher, a teacher, veterinarian, a future farmer, and much, much more. By the time you're done watching this episode, you're gonna realize why Princeton Review in 2020 named Delaware Valley University amongst the best in the Northeast and has been recognized in this category for the last 10 consecutive years. Unbelievable. US News and World Report put DelVal in the best regional universities in the North category, and College Factual ranked the college's animal science program as one of the top 20 in the nation. This is gonna be a great episode, everyone. Once again, welcome to Delaware Valley University. This is the College Tour. Here at DelVal, all students get hands-on experience in their field of study in year one. Let's go meet Jamie. She's a junior majoring in agricultural education, and she's gonna tell us about DelVal's award-winning experiential learning program called E360. This is not just another internship program. There's a lot more to it. Jamie? What if I told you that 100% of students at DelVal have gained real-world experience in their career field before graduation? Yep, that's right. This is achieved through our experiential education, also known as our E360 program. This innovative program integrates classroom knowledge with real-world experience, individualized to your major. Between internships, study abroad programs, student research, community service, and so much more, E360 allows you to choose an exciting and educational experience perfect for you. As an education major, my E360 requirements are fulfilled through my student teaching semester my senior year and through various hours of field experience during my time as a student here. Our Center for Student Professional Development, also known as our CSPD, has an accessible website that allowed me to explore internships and secure three jobs during my time as a student here. And through the CSPD website, I could contact and apply directly to the employers. I had the opportunity to intern at a nursery and a wildflower preserve, building my knowledge in horticulture and growing my portfolio for when I enter the classroom one day. I even traveled to South Africa to immerse myself in their culture and learn more about their agricultural industry. Our E360 program was named the 2019 Outstanding Experiential Education Program by the National Society for Experiential Education. In data collected by the class of 2019, we had a 94% graduate success rate. 79% of these students secured a job upon graduation and 15% of these students went on to continue their education. This high success rate is a result of our impactful E360 program. Although I would love to tell you more about the benefits of our experiential learning program for students, there is so much more to love about DelVal and I wouldn't want you to miss out. Let's throw it back to Alex to learn more about what this amazing university has to offer. Back to you, Alex. Great description, Jamie. No wonder DelVal grads are so successful at getting jobs or going on to graduate school. Thank you for sharing your story. That was fantastic. Cheers, Jamie. Now it's time to meet a future cattle rancher, Darian. Darian will be graduating soon with a degree in agribusiness. He came to DelVal knowing exactly what he wanted and boy, did he find it here. Darian. Hey y'all, I'm an agriculture business major looking to get into the cattle industry, working my way up to becoming a cattle rancher. 
I first heard of Del Val through one of the football coaches on the football team who asked if I was interested in coming for a visit. One of the first questions I asked was, do y'all have any ag majors here on campus? He said, that's what Delaware Valley is known for, is their great ag program. After doing my own research, I learned that Delaware Valley was founded the National Farm School in 1896. We're celebrating our 125th anniversary this year. It has gone from an all-male school to a very diverse campus with people from all over the country. Delaware Valley has given me a chance to find out who I want to be and has opened my mind up to seeking new opportunities. One of the requirements here on campus is the E360 program. This is where students must apply for an internship. Since I'm trying to get into cattle ranching, I chose an internship in Florida at Deseret Ranch. This happens to be one of the largest cattle operations in America with 300,000 acres and 40,000 head of cattle. As an African-American male in the ag industry, there's not too many of us on the northeastern side of the country. This is a great opportunity for me to experience. While I was in Florida, I met another black cowboy. This was the first time in my life that I worked with somebody who looked like me and shared the same dream. If I had never done the E360 program, I would have never gotten to experience this. Delaware Valley has an abundance of clubs and organizations that you can join. This is a great way to meet new people that share similar interests as you. I'm a part of AGR, which is the Ag Fraternity here on campus, and I'm a part of Manners, which is a minority club of students that are in science or ag department. These organizations have given me a lot of opportunity to better myself as a person. I was very fortunate to get an interview with the Pennsylvania Secretary of Agriculture. We got to talk about manners and why it's important that there's diversity in agriculture. This is a great way for me to speak about my passion for the industry and spark others who are interested in agriculture. I hold the recruitment chair for AGR, which has taught me how to be more responsible and how to become a better leader. Another great way to get involved on campus is Activities Day, also known as A-Day. A-Day is a big event we host here at Delaval that is open to the public. A-Day hosts a livestock show, which is open to all students who get the experience showing a livestock animal. I got the opportunity to show a beef steer, which was a really cool experience. Well, y'all, I'm glad I got to share my experience here at Delval, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for letting me share my story. What's next, Alex? Great job, Darian. We have a feeling you are on the path to being a successful cattle rancher, and A-Day sounds like an amazing event. I understand that thousands of people from the community come to campus for this entirely student-run event. It's incredible. Thanks for that, Darian. Okay, now it's time to hear from Parker. Parker is a freshman majoring in biology and botany. And Parker knows all the best places to eat and discover Bucks County's cultural treasures. Parker, please take it away. Thanks, Alex. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Doylestown. I've lived in the Doylestown area since I was about 10 years old. I was originally born and raised in Hawaii, but I've grown to really love it here. Our town was recently named USA Today's number one small town in the cultural scene category, and we definitely live up to that title. For example, every fall we have a two-day arts fest that consumes the center of town with vendors selling artwork, paintings, anything you could want, along with tons of food trucks. That is probably my all-time favorite event that we have in Doylestown. Speaking of food, we also have a plethora of restaurants to choose from of almost any variety. I can remember when I was younger, I used to go to different restaurants to see who had the best fried calamari. P.S. It's the Pen Tap Room. For students who live on campus, don't worry, our local bus, the Doylestown Dart, stops at Delval to pick kids up and shuttle them into town. Walking around Doylestown is a great way to pass some time on the weekends, and we have all kinds of different stores from thrift shops to upscale boutiques. Admire the architecture while grabbing some coffee or boba from a local cafe before heading down to the Mercer Museum, a giant historical castle in the middle of Doylestown. One of two, actually. Font Hill, located just behind me, was the home of Henry Mercer, a tile worker who designed his own home and the Mercer Museum to be a collection of technology and artwork used in the early 1900s. Pretty cool. Across the street from the Mercer Museum is the Michener Art Museum, an old prison turned cultural hub. Students can get free passes to all of these from the Bucks County Library, which is just next door to the Art Museum. Another hidden gem is Peace Valley, a park featuring Lake Galena located about 15 minutes outside of Doylestown. I love to walk the trails and walk around the lake and force my friends to listen to me talk about lichen and mushrooms, which is super nerdy, but it does help me study. 
And if Doylestown isn't enough one day, just hop on the train and head down to Philadelphia, which is about 25 miles south. We have our very own train station located at DelVal, just a short walk away from most of the dorms. I love heading down to Philly to go to concerts or to visit friends who live down there. Besides Philadelphia, we're less than two hours away from tons of popular day trips, such as New York City, the Poconos, and the Jersey Shore. So although there's tons to do in the heart of Doylestown, all of these trips are just a short car or train ride away. When you choose DelVal, you choose Doylestown, along with all of its historic small town charm. Back to you, Alex. Great cultural overview, Parker. Sounds like students have a lot of options for things to do off campus. What a location. Cheers, Parker. Let's hear more about the campus here at DelVal. Sarah is graduating this spring with a degree in counseling psychology, and she's gonna take us through this absolutely beautiful campus here at DelVal. Sarah, please take it away. Thank you, Alex. Hey, everybody. I am so excited to show you around our campus here at Delaware Valley University. With our small class sizes of a 13 to 1 student to professor ratio, you would never know that our campus sits on over 550 acres of the most picturesque land. If you include our two additional campuses that act as a living laboratory for students here on campus, we actually have over a thousand acres of land to our name. Before touring this campus, I visited many different universities. This one was by far my favorite. I think that there's something to be said about having the small campus size, knowing the people that you walk by on the walkways rather than just being another number. My favorite spot here at Del Val is Lake Archer. I love to come down here and hang out with friends, listen to music, uh, or even just sit with my thoughts. Uh, I actually have a ton of pictures with that beautiful tree over there. It is the most beautiful scene in the springtime. There's a gazebo at the lake that is extremely peaceful and has the most wonderful view. Lake Archer is actually a part of our 40-acre arboretum on campus and houses a live laboratory of plants for our students to study. Our campus arboretum is a part of the Greater Philadelphia Gardens and the American Public Gardens Association. There are a ton of different buildings on campus that range from academics to barns. My favorite building on campus is the Life Science Building, which is actually our newest building on campus. It has tons of windows, which make it bright and cheery for those 8 a.m. classes. As a women's soccer player here at DelVal, nothing beats the sun setting over my own practices or while I'm working the men's lacrosse practices. Right above our turf field, we have a SEPTA Regional Railroad stop. This stop can take you to Baltimore, Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, or even New York City. And although I'm not around the farms as much as I would like to be, I still like to walk down there and admire the beautiful animals. A funny story that I like to tell potential students here on campus is about Sparky the Squirrel. A few years ago, a squirrel chewed through the power lines on campus and actually got electrocuted, taking out the power right before a big basketball game here on campus. The class of 2018 got a memorial made for him that says, the squirrel that searched for light even through the darkest of times. This story went viral on Facebook and it went viral on Reddit, and you can find Sparky's memorial right outside of our writing center on campus. At this campus, you can find anything from sports to a train station to live animals. I bet that you haven't been to a campus that can say the same. Back to you, Alex. Poor Sparky. Thanks, Sarah. This campus is gorgeous. I love how this campus is surrounded by so much nature, yet so close to some big cities. Thanks again, Sarah. We're heading over to the greenhouses now to meet Wyatt a junior majoring in crop science. The greenhouse is just one of the many hands-on learning facilities here at DelVal. Wyatt is gonna tell us how he first heard about DelVal and why it was the best choice for him. Wyatt, it's all yours. Thank you, Alex, and hello, everybody. It's nice to meet you. Now, when I first started my college search, I did not even know DelVal was an option. As a high schooler interested in plants and plant sciences, I was only looking at much larger universities. I remember being in an agricultural student organization called FFA and attending multiple summer conferences at another large university in Pennsylvania and thinking to myself, wow, just look at this massive wave of students. And you could not help but feel lost in a sea of students. So I needed something different. 
I wanted to go to a university where I get a lot of hands-on experience and also stand out. So when my dad told me, hey, why don't you check out Delaware Valley University for its agronomy program? I was like, sure, why not? And I booked myself a summer tour. The overall atmosphere of the campus made me feel comfortable, like I could see myself here for four years, like I could be an individual. Learning about what DelVal had to offer, from its hands-on learning experience to its accredited E360 program, to knowing that I could secure a merit scholarship of up to $25,000, made me feel like the university actually cared about me. Its affordability let me worry not about my money, but let me focus on my academics and my social life. And ever since I stepped foot on campus, I do not regret any decision at all. Meeting so many new people from a broad range of majors, I feel like I've been able to truly expand my horizons and see what else is out there in the real world. It is so easy to get involved on campus and become a leader. For me, I serve as a resident assistant and as a ambassador, where I get to do individual campus tours to new students and help them see what Del Val has to offer to them. Being a student at Del Val is an experience that gives you all the tools needed to thrive. And I believe if you are looking for a small school with a big experience, Delaware Valley is the perfect option for you. Back to you, Alex. Thanks, Wyatt, great job. It is easy to see the advantages of a small school where you will not feel just like a number. And it sounds like you found your perfect home right here. Take care, Wyatt. Now we're gonna hear from Juliet, a junior majoring in small animal science. Juliet's path was a little different from the students you've met so far. Juliet started at another school, but was frustrated that as an animal science major, she was not getting the opportunity to work directly with animals. At DelVal, that happens in your first year. Here's her story. Juliet. So when you tell people you want to be a vet, their first question is, how long have you known you wanted to do that? And to be honest, I don't know if there was ever a time I didn't know. Growing up, I'd watch the crocodile hunter, catch critters outside, and come in and tell my mom all about the wonderful creatures that share our backyard. Steve Irwin played a major part in my upbringing, and his passion for wildlife was contagious. I knew I had to continue his mission in some way. I decided on the path of veterinary medicine in hopes of one day being able to work at the Australia Zoo. I realized this was a very specific dream and that I could help wildlife in endless ways. My journey to Del Val is a little bit different than most. I transferred here after realizing that I wasn't getting the hands-on experience with animals that I needed. I talked to some of my friends who attended the university and I made the switch. Talking to you today, I'm a junior small animal science major. I can wholeheartedly say that coming to Del Val is one of the greatest things that I've ever done. In just two years, I've taken classes like Path and Disease, Animal and Atom Phys, and Vet Med Terminology that will help my application to vet school tremendously. On top of classes, there's a number of clubs and organizations that are helping me as well. My favorite is Del Val's national chapter for the American Association of Zookeepers. It's helped me with the zoo aspect of my career, and being a board member has allowed me to create connections that I'll use in the future. Another thing that has helped me is one of my E360 credits. Through talking with my advisor, I found an amazing company called Loop Abroad. I set up a two-week trip to Australia where I'd be living and working in a small zoo alongside a zoo veterinarian. This was supposed to take place in June of 2020, so you can imagine what happened. Yeah, it was canceled. I was absolutely devastated, but lucky for me, Loop Abroad was hosting a virtual global vet semester. Without ever leaving my bedroom, I traveled all over the world to places including Thailand, Belize, and Costa Rica. I was able to get up close and personal with veterinary medicine in species ranging from dogs to elephants. And I'm so grateful to Loop Abroad. Without coming to Del Val, I would have never been able to do the things I talked about today, and I wouldn't have nearly the resume I do now. I can honestly say that Del Val has helped me on my road to becoming a wildlife warrior. That's my story. Now back to Alex. Well done, Juliet. You may be the first wildlife warrior we have had on the college tour. Thank you for sharing your story. That was incredible. Take care. Let's learn more about academics here at DelVal. Please meet Kai. Kai's a freshman studying biology, and he's gonna tell us what it's like to be a student at DelVal and the many academic choices they have here. Kai, the floor is all yours. 
Thank you, Alex. Hi, everyone. Delaware Valley is definitely unlike any university I noticed when picking a place to settle for the next four years of my life. With many different opportunities offered to students both athletically and academically, I feel Del Valle is a great place to choose if you want to be challenged in both of those categories. All my life, my mother pushed me academically and my father pushed me athletically. Growing up, I learned what a student athlete truly was because in my eyes, they're both connected to my parents' teachings. In high school, I adapted having small class sizes and teachers getting to know me as a person more than just a student. Well, here at Del Valle, that's what you are to professors, not just a student, but a person. With small class sizes and a student to faculty ratio of 13 to one, small class sizes can really help a student thrive. This allows students to gain more individual help and gain knowledge in their field of study. For me, I always struggle with lecture-based learning because I have a hard time keeping still and focusing during class. DelVal offers hands-on learning, which is embedded into every curriculum so students like me can get a better understanding and learn what is taught. As a student of this school, you will never just be in a lecture hall, but actually out in the field in which you choose to study. For me as a bio major, I take two labs a week, one chem and one bio, where I get hands-on experience learning techniques practiced in class. This allows my mind to understand concepts I struggle with in class and gives me a visual understanding of the materials I learned. One question I always ask myself when thinking about college is, what am I going to be or what will my career path be? Well, DelVal actually helped me answer that question before choosing biology as my major. With over 25 undergraduate degrees ranging from sciences to business or humanities to liberal arts, there is definitely a degree for everyone. Another unique aspect the university offers to students is the ability to create your own customizable degree programs. Delaware Valley University pushes its students towards academic success while also offering resources to help each student reach their own individual goals. These resources range from guided tutoring sessions to E360 to study abroad programs, and the list goes on and on. If you're a student that wishes to be challenged academically and have the ability to play sports, then Del Val is a college for you. I'm Kai, a bio major and a football player, and I'll be seeing you around. Back to you, Alex. Thanks, Kai. The small classes and faculty advising sound like a great learning environment. And it sounds like there are lots of ways to follow your passion here at Del Val. Great job. Thank you for talking to us today. Cheers. Now it's time to meet Christine. Christine is a junior majoring in conservation and wildlife management. Her passion, however, is soccer. Christine is gonna tell us about the athletics here at Del Val. Christine, please take it away. Hey everybody, I have the privilege of being Delaware Valley University's women's soccer team captain. Here at Del Val, we have 24 intercollegiate men's, women's, and co-ed athletic teams. We even have women's wrestling. Del Val competes within the NCAA Division III Middle Atlantic Conference, or MAC as we call it. What's even cooler is Del Val is one of the 443 schools that participates in D3 athletics, which is the largest division. Our football team has won not one, not two, but seven MAC championships in the past 15 years, amongst other championship wins, of course. In a quick flashback to my freshman year, I was so flattered to be recognized as honorable mention for the Women's Soccer MAC All-Conference team. That year marked Del Val Women's Soccer's eighth season in a row of at least one player making an all-conference team appearance. What I love most about playing soccer at Del Val is the priority of academics over athletics, because after all, advancing our education is what we're here for. When I was a senior in high school, I had no idea if I wanted to play a sport, but I knew I wanted my education to be a priority. And I quickly realized Del Val is the perfect fit for me. Listen, college is not easy. It's a new world. And thankfully for you, I've been in your shoes before as a high schooler trying to figure out which path to pursue. I know what it's like to feel intimidated, scared, and overwhelmed. But the beautiful thing about athletics is you have a family to lean on when you arrive at school. Through Del Val Athletics, I found a group of friends who pushed me to be my best by studying together, getting good grades, and being a strong support system on and off the soccer field throughout my entire college experience. There's also teamwork between teams. In addition to being a soccer captain, I'm also a representative on the Student Athlete Advisory Committee, or SAC as we call it. SAC is a community of Del Val's athletic teams where we lean on one another, celebrate each other's victories, and support one another through events like D3 Week. This is where we get the entire campus involved in fun activities to cheer on our teams. 
This year, we got the community involved in a clothing drive, interactive fundraisers, and competitive athletic events for prizes. My college experience has been tremendously improved by my teammates and coaches' support, accountability, and competitiveness along the way, which are qualities you can be sure to find at each of Del Val's athletic teams. Over to you, Alex. Great job, Christine. I love hearing about camaraderie and support between athletic teams on campus. You sure found the right fit, too. That was fantastic. Thanks, Christine. Now, let's head over and meet Anthony. He's been passionate about animals since he was a kid. When he heard about DelVal's hands-on philosophy and the great success rate of DelVal's grads succeeding in veterinarian school, he knew this was the place for him. Anthony, you're on. What's up, guys? I know what you're thinking. What's this kid's story? Well, truth is, I don't got much of one. I was born and raised in the small town of Lidditz, Pennsylvania, and I lived a very average life. But it wasn't until I turned on the TV and switched over to Animal Planet and saw this extremely passionate man doing what he loved. And this man was Steve Irwin. His passion for animals was truly inspirational, and I caught his passion like someone would catch the common cold. So when I was looking for colleges, I needed one that would help me become the best version of myself and help my dreams become a reality. And let me tell you, Del Val was that school. During my freshman year, I was super eager to take advantage of all the clubs and organizations on campus. And it was kind of easy considering that there are over 70 plus options to choose from. So I decided to join the Prevet Club and the Student Government Board, where I would become heavily involved over the next two years. With the Prevet Club, we are constantly inviting guest speakers such as vet schools and alumni to talk about internships and opportunities. With the Prevet Club, we are super hands-on and we teach a lot of valuable skills such as dissections and blood drawing. Also, the Prevet Club has a lot of connections all across the world. For example, next summer, I will be traveling to Australia and working with the local wildlife and veterinarians there. Fast forward another year to my senior year and I'll be working in Indonesia as a research assistant with aquatic wildlife, which is something that I want to specialize in as a vet. But the Prevet Club also helps a lot with my classes on campus. For example, in my Intro to Animal Science class, we had to gavage and draw blood on mice. But luckily, I had some friends in the Prevet Club that could help me out with that. And during my freshman year, I was already working with animals, which is something extremely unique to Del Val. With the Student Government Board, I am the treasurer and I'm also the class president of 2023. And my favorite part about Student Government Board is the yearly trip that we take to the National Student Government Board Association. Last year, we went to New Orleans, and let me tell you, it was an absolute blast. And I took away a lot of valuable experiences that will help me with all my executive positions on campus. Not only that, but I also attended Leadership last year. And out of everything on campus that I've done, Leadership has been by far the most impactful. When I came back from Leadership, I learned a lot about my leadership style, how to inspire others to be leaders, and how to push myself to become the best version of myself. And then when we all came back to campus, we had 50 new and experienced leaders to help run all of our clubs and organizations. This is how Del Val creates a culture of leaders. As you can see, I love Del Val, and I know you'll flip for it too. Back to you, Alex. I love your story, Anthony. You can see how the hands-on opportunities you are getting here at DelVal are preparing you to follow your passion for working with animals. And it is incredible to see how many cool and interesting fields of study there are here. See you later, Anthony. Okay, now it's time to hear from Zuzana. She is from Poland, a senior business management major who will also graduate next year with her MBA in DelVal's 4 Plus 1 program and she's gonna show us a different perspective on what community means here at DelVal. Zuzana? Hi, everyone. Four years ago, I was given an amazing opportunity to pursue a bachelor degree in one of the American universities. Coming to the United States from Poland, a country this far away, it was a big deal, and I can't tell you how glad I am it turned out to be DelVal. Freshman year is a big adjustment. No matter how far you come, whether it be 30 minutes from the house or the other side of the world like me, the homesickness is the feeling that pretty much everyone gets. 
about Delval, the inclusiveness of community helps you get rid of this feeling pretty fast. The school events, clubs, sororities, sports teams, and campus life itself gives you so many opportunities to get involved that you get the sense of belonging, and there's always something to do. My most memorable event would be attending football games with my friends. I loved how everyone gathered together to support our team. And it's also a must to mention my favorite school event, which is A-Day. It's a three-day event that brings our campus and surrounding community together. There is a lot of vendors, live music, entertainment, and great food trucks. I can't stress it more how this tied me community helped me look at Delva as my new home. Especially living on campus gives you opportunity to meet so many friends and create lifelong friendships. Personally speaking, if not for Delval, I wouldn't have met such an incredible people that became a family to me now. You meet people here from all around the world with different backgrounds and interests, and the school is small, so after a while you have a feeling that you know everyone. The most important position I held was a resident assistant job, probably because it allowed me to give back to a community that once helped me when I felt homesick. Working as an RA showed me how everyone on the staff is very dedicated and work hard towards a common goal supporting students for their college experience, including all the ups and downs. So if you're not a very outgoing person, don't worry. That is what us residents assistants are here for. We organize fun events that will allow you to meet people and create friendships. If you come to Delval, I can assure you, you're not gonna be alone. You're gonna be an Aggie, and that is amazing. If you're looking for the school with more than just an academic experience, Delval is the right choice for you. And there is no better place to call home away from home than Delval. Alex, back to you. Great story, Zuzana. It is easy to see why you feel so welcome here at Delval. That is really a feeling we have had from all of our student reporters today. And I have felt that exact same way from being here on campus. It's really special. Thanks for sharing that, Zuzana. Well, that was an awesome episode. Thank you to all our amazing student reporters for giving us a great introduction to what it's like to be a student at Delaware Valley University. It is easy to see why you all picked DelVal. The community atmosphere, the small class sizes, hands-on experience starting your first year, the award-winning E360 experiential learning program, and so many interesting majors and career paths. That is all the time we have here at DelVal. Now it's up to you all to go learn more about Delaware Valley University for yourself, and hopefully we'll see you on campus real soon. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>